Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Yomi. My name is Yomi. I'm a dual degree student at Brown University and Rhode Island School of Design. I make college and art related videos, and today's video is primarily focused on the artwork and the work life of college and the stresses of the dual degree program and things of that nature. So stay along for the ride and see all the cool art that I've made the first half of the semester. Just braided my hair for a video for class. So today is my first day of brown classes, so let's see how that goes. From Amazon, they're for a music video that I'm filming tomorrow. So these are what the shoes look like, they're called huaraches. And like, put your arms around each other. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, I'm recording now. Have movement though, like. like oh. <laughs> Act like you know each other, so like be, be loose and look at each other while you talk. <laughs> what's, your, what's your name, by the way? <laughs> Flip your hair. Really awkward. Okay, that's good. Yeah, talk, talk. You guys can talk. Bye. Camera, sad. We are live now. Just an update, I've been really busy these last few days filming for my music video and editing the video, editing my song, recording the song. So I've been really busy and I haven't been vlogging. Today is my first gymnastics meet that I'll be working. I'm also there was a blizzard yesterday which I walked in many times because I was filming yesterday. So I had a lot of people um, who, who showed up for time slots um, to be filmed and they had to walk through the blizzard and I really appreciated how dedicated and, dedicated and committed they were to continue to help me despite the blizzard, so. My first blizzard ever, so. Maybe the last one. Come closer. <laughs> two, three, four. One, two, and then you can add the claps. One, two, three. One, two, and then flick away, like away, like flying away, yeah. So it's clap, two, and then flick away. So I just finished editing my music video and I just watched it all the way through. While I keep on thinking about this, I'm making a music video. I made a song. I recorded a song. Like, how? If you would have told me three weeks ago that I would do this, I would have laughed and said that's kind of crazy. That's absolutely crazy. If you would have ever told me in my life that I would have recorded a song, I would have said that you're lying. That's insane. You never know what's in store for you. Never limit yourself. Go outside of the box. That's all I gotta say. I've literally never made anything that beautiful before. Wow. Bro, I've never like made something that's like touched me. We're presenting our final short films in class today. Super nervous. Presenting my music video. We'll see how it goes. This is who we are. Walking back from the game. Do you guys want to be my vlog? Sure. Walking back from the game. So the cafeteria, the Rizzi cafeteria went crazy today with food because it's Super Bowl Sunday. First day of Rizzi classes for the spring. Brown classes have been going on for four weeks now, so Rizzi classes start today for me and super excited. Pumped. <laughs> Now I'm gonna work at gymnastics meet for my job. Super excited. First day of my spatial class. First day of spatial was good. Now I'm headed to the Rissi store to buy art supplies. Just finished drawing in for an assignment for my drawing class. Second drawing for class. I'm gonna show with a drip. So doing another drawing. This is Lily. <laughs> Second portrait of Lily. Here's what the aperture looks like. Gonna. Sculpt it with clay now. So, drawing Alex right now. You can wait. On to the next model. Using colored pencils for this line drawing. 
So I am drawing Sharbik right now. Look this way. So I am drawing Ben. Coloring in a picture that I inked. I drew it, I inked it, and now I'm coloring it. Your boy is swamped with so much work. So every day I have to do a drawing. This was my drawing yesterday, day before, day before. Um, yeah, so. And this wasn't for the class. Then I saw I still have to paint these. I have to make 20 objects for my spatial dynamics class, and we only have a week to do it. Not only do I have to do that, I have to make sure I'm reading for my modern African literature class and my understanding East Asia class, which both have a lot of reading. So lots and lots of work. Yay! Painting right now while watching Asian Boss. This is what it looks like right now. Obviously it's not perfect, but I'm not a sculptor and I've never really done anything like this before, like a a decent sculpture. So I'm headed to the Black Appreciation Dinner at Brown, so I'm on my way. I can go the distance. For May, for real. And then I was like, um. I'm on way. The dinner. You're so awesome, we're to wave at you. <laughs> Painting this. I just finished making my, my house. I'm not a sculptor, but... Making another object for my spatial class, and I made this little figurine that is drying right now. The idea for the painting, this is a painting, and I'm gonna add a 3D element to it. Working on a painting. So I'm drawing Samira right now. <laughs> this is Keegan. An armature for my new sculpture I'm making. Using my ink base colored pencils. Dipping it in water. So I'm gonna be sewing for class. I didn't create this, I bought this, drew on top of it, and then I'm gonna stitch this. On lunch break, heading back to class now. This I made a clay version of what a Mexican alebrije looks like. So these are some of my objects that I've made for class so far. I still have like 10 more to make. I'm warping this wire to look like this. It's quite fun. Leaving for my art critique right now. I have to be there in like six minutes, have to walk quickly. See you. So we have critiques today and this is all my work for class. We had to make 20 objects um, and we only had a week to make them. So I made all of this in a week. Stayed up until like four or five every night for like the past three or four days. So we're, we're packing up from Crit right now. Yep. Look how effective this shelter is to shelter this guy down there. Bro. Do you want me to hold it? Or? Yeah, show them. He made that scissor. Cut it. Cut it. Go, go, go. Whoa. <laughs> Winnie made that. Look at what Lex made. <laughs> we put it around. Yeah. <laughs> Working on a project while watching West Side Story. Just finished. Walking, watching Blackish now. 1.16 in the morning, still doing homework. I stayed up until like 4 a.m. the last three nights doing homework. I usually wake up at like 7.30, 8. So, three, four hours of sleep. So, <laughs> so drawing better right now. Okay, you can look now. Oh my god. <laughs> drawing Liana right now. <laughs> and watching 21 Jump Street. FAV building. So I came into the bathroom to show you how pretty the outside is. We out here. See? Uh, Porcolo Cafe. We eat in, you know? Yeah. Just came from critiques. I'm literally exhausted. In the past few nights, I've only gotten like three to five hours of sleep. The latest class that I have is that starts at 9.30. 
three of my classes are eight hours long, like as I've stated in other videos. It's just that I've been getting so little sleep because like my classes are so long and then I'm up doing homework all night and I have two midterms to write to do a paper to write. I just really don't have enough time in the day to do these. And then I have more drawings to do. And college isn't always easy and fun in games and I don't want to portray in my videos like, oh, it's just fun games. Like I'm exhausted. Ugh, I'm working on reading, rereading a lot of things fall apart, which is a book. I'm working on rereading it for an essay I have to write. I'm so tired and I have so much art homework to do. And then I have to study for my midterm and oh gosh, now I'm going to dinner Then I have to draw some more people and find some more time to write this essay and write an outline for it. Exhausted, exhausted, exhausted. It's okay though. And I'm not crying. It looks like I'm crying for some reason. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> no. So I'm drawing Chloe and Matthew. Hi. My first time drawing two people together, live drawing. It's you. Hmm. You're the stupid twins. Come on. <laughs> drawing Cameron right now. For class. Watching Avatar. <laughs> drawing. One of my tin drawings. I'm switching it up by doing a drawing with a lot of lines. It's a bit of a break from my portraiture that I've been doing. Doing another drawing right now. Watching Big Hero 6 in the lounge. Just got done drawing Saki. Drawing Sandra. <laughs> doing another one of my portraits. Fourth one today, drawing David. <laughs> and watching Shang-Chi. Oh my god. It's me. <laughs> Sorry I look crazy. It's two in the morning, just got back from the library. So I have so much more studying to do. I'm studying for my midterm, which is tomorrow, which I need to study so much more for for. <sighs> I'm so exhausted. I had critiques today. They did not go well. I spent like 25 hours on my work for that week for that class. This comic just came in the mail. It's like a comic based on pre-colonial Philippines, like indigenous history, so. Like a wreck. I just ordered McDonald's at 3, 8, 2.40 in the morning. And my Uber driver got lost. Hello. Going to Brown to eat dinner. See you, catch you later. Going to the Ritzy store to buy stuff for class. Just sketching right now. Just picked my hair up. I have like four minutes to get breakfast. And then I am heading to class. Oh my goodness. Tonight was such a night. I woke up at like 8.45, had class at 9.30. And um, was in class until like 4.30. Of course we had our lunch break and um, we're just was just working um, the whole day. I had to rush from from my class to the cafeteria to quickly eat dinner in like 15 minutes. Then I rushed to work. I decided to stop by my friend's dorm, my friend's dorm, just to say hi. And we ended up hanging out for the rest of the night. And we went to a South Asian Student Association party, which was in the next city over. It was approved by the, the university because the university security was there. But I ended up getting shut down because everyone got kicked out. And, um, but yeah, it was really cool because they had a lot of like Desi music, Desi music, and it was just so cool. Like, I'm not used to music like that. And it was, it was a cool experience. So then we ended, ended up going to uh, Joe's, which is one of Brown's cafeterias that everyone goes to late at night. And we, uh, yeah, we brought our food back all the way to the other side of campus, which took us like 10 minutes to walk to. And then we just sat and chilled and I met like 10 new people and we just sat and chilled and like, ate in the lounge and talked and a lot of people asked me what the dual degree program was like. I ended up asking, like, answering the same questions like four times that night. <laughs> like someone new would come in and they'd ask, oh, so what is the dual degree program like? What are you majoring in? And I ended up answering the same questions over and over. So it was really funny because like each time a new person would come, the people who had, already been, who were, who had been there the whole night would start laughing when these people would ask me like the same questions that I'd been asked like three or four times. Now I'm going to bed. Night time, nighty night. <sighs> so right now I'm walking to the African Student Association were hosting a um, an African African culture showcase, so I'm gonna model in it. We're doing like a little fashion run through throughout the event, and I'm modeling in it. If you see my eyes? 
this makeup that I'm wearing for the show, so. Just walked in the model show. So I bought this fabric in the mall, and I also bought this fabric. I just made this in class. It took about six hours of like planning and trial and error and stuff to make this print. I'm watching a tutorial on how to use a sewing machine, and so far so good. So I'm watching my Ankara fabric. This is how long the fabric is. <laughs> it's drying. Still watching Project Runway while watching a DIY overalls video. I just um, like drew on the fabric to where I'm gonna cut it. And I so it's 11.34 and I just finished cutting out all the pieces and now I'm gonna sew them. So this is what I've gotten done so far. It's the next day. I'm super proud of what I've done. I know it looks like, it doesn't look great, but this is the pocket. Legitimately on the verge of a mental breakdown. Um, Staying up until 4 in the morning every night for like the past few weeks has really put a toll on me Ment mentally and physically. Like I said, I was too tired to eat, too tired to walk. And um, and like this week, I don't have much homework and I could easily just go to the library and do it and or sit in my room and like read the chapters for my book I need to read or do that. But I'm just too tired to do it even though I don't have much homework this week and I, it's been pretty chill. So I'm just mentally exhausted, I'm physically exhausted. So it's my third day sewing and I finally finished one of the pant legs. So you can see it. I don't expect this to stay together since it's like a handmade project. But yay, one of the pant legs. And I skipped my first class today because mentally just not there. So it's been a struggle. So I got to get my motivation back. And the dual degree program is super hard. And I'm going to talk to a few of my advisors to see what I should do, like regarding course load and things of that nature. Because I got a B plus on my midterm paper. Ah! <laughs> Okay, they look like pants. Oh shoot, look! Ooh, and they fit. Never give up, never give up. I'm not as incompetent as I thought. Yes sir, yes sir. Project Runway really coming in clutch, inspiring me while I work on sewing. Right now I'm ironing this to iron the fold so they sit down when I stitch them. So at the nature lab, they have different like insects and taxidermy and animals and plant life that you can check out. So I'm trying to take um, advantage of this opportunity at RISD to do drawings from life instead of using Google Images. You can check out stuff at any time unless it has a red dot, which means that like a red dot here, um, that red dot, which means that you're not allowed to check it out. You can look at it in the nature lab, but you can't bring it to your dorm with you. Projects on cowrie shells and um, uh, their significance around the world, um, like through traditional clothing and um, through different ethnic groups and tribes. We went to the nature lab where you checked out a whole bunch of shells. I checked out a whole bunch of little, huge and big different types of cowrie shells. They're polished and so, so pretty. More research I need to do for my project. And then I need to buy the supplies, the canvas that I'm going to do it on. But I want to do all my research and my planning first and my study first before I decide what supplies to buy. So look at the beautiful lighting. So have you ever had a day that just changed your life regarding inspiration? Where you just got so inspired that it changed the trajectory of how you thought about life and your goals and plans? Um, like I feel like... We have a few of those days in our life, maybe a few times a year. Um, 
yeah, so I feel like today is one of those days where I just feel like my life has been changed completely. And I just have a new outlook and a new perspective and my life will take a new trajectory on how grateful I am to be at these elite institutions. Um, even though there are a lot of flaws and things that I don't like. Um, yeah, so I'm just walking around in Brown's Main Green. But I just, I really appreciate being here. I'm gonna take advantage of all of these opportunities that I have here that most people don't take advantage of. Um, it's so gorgeous. Yeah, so, so pretty. I'm just gonna be out here and I'll sketch a little bit. And then I'll be headed to dinner and then I'll do a lot of homework because I need to get caught up this weekend from being super depressed and putting my work behind. So time for me to get caught up after I have this inspiration, but I need to make sure not to overdo it so I don't overwork myself and go in the same situation again, so. So I'm elated, I'm like in, on an emotional high right now. Um, just from being so happy and so motivated, I feel like I can conquer the world. This is brown and this street leads you down to RISD. And yeah, so this is a brown building as well, I believe. RISD house and this gray building over here that I'm pointing to, that is one of the RISD freshman dorms. In line for Andrew's breakfast in the morning. I don't know if you can hear that, but there's like this, some event, cultural event going on right outside my dorm. It's so loud. I'm gonna go see what's going on. As a, someone who loves to learn about culture and who I'm very career focused now, and I need to start experiencing more other cultures in person when I have the opportunity, because this only happens once a year, you know? So, might as well do it. So, this is more important than any homework assignment. So, yeah, I'm gonna, gonna quickly take a shower. I'm gonna take it in these clothes. So right now, I'm just drawing. Um, I'm watching a mo movie called AI Artificial Intelligence. I'm like, probably 10 minutes in. Yeah, so doing this study for my drawing class. So I just finished, and this movie that I'm watching is so strange. I cannot tell you how excited I am. So today I'm having a meeting with the head of the tech. So I'm having the head of the Department of Textiles pull out clothing that the RISD Museum has um, that's like not on display, that has cowrie shells in it. So I can look at it and I'm gonna like sketch a few things, take a few pictures to inform me on my, um, my final painting that I'm doing. Cowrie shells from Cameroon. So this is Indonesian. It's made for a kid. And this is a Kuba headpiece. So Naga textile. Mm -hmm. So the meeting went really well. I made a lot of analysis, sis, analysis, analyses. I don't know. Uh, on cowrie shells and <clears throat> how they're used in clothing and what they're intertwined with. And it was just really cool because that's the first time I've seen actual textiles from a culture that I've been like studying through online. So that's pretty, pretty cool. A work to do because I want to go bigger, go home for this project. But I only have like two days to do it since I've been doing so much research and I haven't actually started the actual project. Lunch looks so good today. Mr. Bai. Writing a song about love. Love. <laughs> Just take my napkin. Go, go check out my, my music. Go check out his music. Yeah. He mixed my song. Yeah, I, got, I, got, I got my uh, YouTube channel page, a link on my Instagram page. Show them that smile. <laughs> So right now I'm still doing research for my project. I'm I'm just like, I'm doing too much. I just keep on finding more and more ethnic groups that use cowrie shells and I don't need to represent every group. So I need to like stop doing, this is enough research. I need to stop doing research and continue planning for what the piece will look like so I can start painting because I only have like three days to do this. So I just finished the inking process. So I have a good idea of how the painting will look. Of
but I'm on to the sketching. So here's an inking palette. I'm just gonna put a little bit on. Comes up. So this is what it looks like so far. So I just finished up the sketch. Um, so I'm starting, it took me, it took me like 20 minutes to clean out this paint palette. Starting with the gold. So I just finished painting the gold. As you can see, it's very shiny. Ah, I love it. So it's coming along. It's going pretty well. I'm so excited, it looks so good. Painting up a new mask of Gabon. So it's coming along. This is how it looks so far. Just started painting a new face. I'm almost done with coloring in this figure. I just have to color in the shells. It's a Garifuna music right now. So catchy. Progress so far. So exhausted. Project is due in exactly 12 hours. 9.30 tomorrow morning and I am so tired. Just finished this part, moving on to him. So this is how it looks so far. I just need to do the background and this hat down there. So I just finished. So it's 6.47 in the morning. I think I have my alarm set for like eight. 45, so I have like an hour and how hour or so for sleep, like two hours to sleep. So yeah, I'm gonna go to bed now because I'm exhausted. So last night was rough. This morning I felt so sick in class um, because I stayed up almost all night and it was a bad decision to do that. My teacher just came out with my midterm paper, grade for Af modern African literature, a B. Okay, paper is well organized. Uh, it's okay. It is okay. It is alright. Late night driving in the zip car. Vroom, vroom. Going to Taco Bell right now. In the drive-through. We just went to Taco Bell. And I got a chalupa box. Jihoon, want to be in the video? Hi. Say hi, June. Hi, June. How are you doing? <laughs> welcome to the. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> We're gonna do. What is that? Day my life for the YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel. Up. So I left my phone in the zip car, which is a rental car. It's still there right now. There's an appointment booked for it for like 30 minutes. So I'm gonna wait outside in the cold until the person comes to pick up the car and I'm going to get my phone then when they like ask if I can get my phone when they open the door <sighs> as you can tell I'm, my nose is running it's super cold outside sorry if it looks nasty my hands are freezing oh, they're so cold I eventually got the phone like an hour later I just got it I was sitting outside in the cold listening to my music and uh, it's just cold but I got the phone Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much.